ladies and gentlemen, Carmine Sabia here for Explain America, and Tucker Carlson is at it again, this time laying waste to the White House in what was one of the most hilarious routines I've ever seen somebody do. Before we get started, folks, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So Geraldo was at the Turning Point USA Political Action Conference on Friday, when, or I'm sorry, it was Saturday, actually, when he was talking about things that people get away with and crimes that are never really punished. And then somebody from the audience shouts, Coke in, cocaine in the White House. And Tucker didn't hear him at first, so he asked him to repeat it. And the guy repeated it, and then Tucker went into just a hilarious, hilarious screed, at one point mimicking members of the Biden administration, perhaps Joe Biden himself, as if they were on cocaine. I got to tell you guys, honestly, you got to see this. Let's take a look. He's even pushing back on. What are the topics that their response is so ferocious that people are like, I don't want to deal with it? One of them is the war in Ukraine. Another's COVID. And of course, the third is January 6th. And you have to ask, why is that? Well, it's not by accident, trust me. There is a reason. So, what'd you say? You know what? The thing about that story, it's just a mystery to me. No one was more shocked than I was. Are you serious? In the Biden White House, somebody left an eight ball of cocaine in a public. I was like, I said to my wife, that just doesn't, it's just not in character. You know? I just don't believe it. It's clearly a setup. I went right back to Marion Barry and I was like, somebody set you up. I'm serious. It was, you know what I mean? It was like, <laughs> it was so, can I, I'll stop with it. That was my favorite story of all time. <laughs> because it just explains all the behavior. It really does. I mean, I worked in the media business for my whole life, so I, I know what the behavior looks like. But it's like crazed and grandiose. I've got a plan. You're not going to believe it. It's unbelievable. It's going to totally work. What we're going to do is we're going to totally rearrange everything, OK? We've been doing things a certain way for a long time, OK? And it's worked. But I've got a better plan. their entire approach. <laughs> so if I can just give you one piece of advice, after 27 years of the television business, don't trust a man with numb gums. Is that a perfect impression of Joe Biden on cocaine? Look, he's 100% right. People don't get punished for things unless they're you or me unless they're regular people. The people in high places don't get punished. And the absurdity that they want you to believe that the Secret Service cannot find the cocaine suspect, a street cop, a normal street cop will tell you that they could find that suspect. But in the most secure building in the world, in the world most likely, where cameras follow your every movement, they're just baffled as to who this cocaine belongs to. And they want you to believe that. They want you to believe it. They're going to look you in the eye and they're going to ask you to believe it. And the media is going to support it and they're going to ask you to believe it. It's an insult to everybody's intelligence. Absolutely ridiculous. Folks, please leave your comments. I want to know what you think about Tucker's whole routine. I also want to know what you think about this whole situation with the cocaine in the White House. So please let me know in the comments. Also remember to like, share, and subscribe. That really helps us out. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.